Welcome back to Mango Plays Tacoma. And, um, yeah. Let's. Oh, what was that noise about? Let's have a look around. Uh, oh, wow, that spun around quick. Ooh, it's shiny. Oh, I like this. It's like a little reading nook. That is an awesome reading nook. Okay. Uh, the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I've not read this book, which is very bad. Uh, Kitty Litter, which, um, yeah, we know whose cat is, uh, it, blah, 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 blah. we know who owns the cat, so it's Evie, uh, St. James. Right, uh, let's head out of this personal quarter. So she's the only one that lives up there then. Okay. Kind of makes sense. She's kind of like the head, you know, honcho. Um, it's a shame all of this happened on a party day, isn't it? Oh. Tab. Okay, where are we going? Uh, Subcontractor Feria. For security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privilege to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. Uh, I guess I'm technically not supposed to be looking at all of these stuff then. Oh well. Screw the man. Okay. Uh, lost wedding ring. Gold band engraved with R, W and N, K inside. I think I lost it somewhere in engineering. Please let me know if you find it, but... Um, yeah, whoa, that scared me a bit. Okay, captured four days ago. Oh, so we've come up really quickly after they've sort of stopped communicating with Tacoma then. Uh, some tape, okay. Uh, let's play space then. These, okay. All right, ladies, you have everything you need? Yep, oh. Thanks for offering to help. Oh, yeah, no problem. You know how much I love completely the mindless. Let's restore this. Uh, yearly hand count, inventory checklist, air portrait, yeah, okay. Uh, failed on that. Uh, message with Clive Siddiqui. Uh, yearly inventory quality insurance and count day. Already on it. Trying to get it all done before the OBSO day party tomorrow. Second party with a clear conscience. Uh, so this is the day before everything went wrong. Understandable. Tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Evie would mind if... if no problem. Two heads are better than one. So if she asks someone for help. Okay. Yep. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay, hmm. so if you're so sure, maybe we should just... For jobs then? So we'll get renewed again next year? <coughs> next year? Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, oh. are you kidding me? Yep. Do you really need direct access to audit? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were Been like, there. Hey Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well... Still be pulling a paycheck, for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but I'd never win anywhere. She did hey. try. Oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Matt! What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god. Matt, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. 
We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and uh, don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit. But don't make me your go-between. Right. So none of these are actually employees, so they technically have no rights. Hence why they keep talking about being renewed. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Yeah, right. I agree with you. Yeah. I'll think about it. For now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. All right, so I've missed a couple of things here. So I've got to hold space to restart. Okay, is there someone out? Right, there's someone over here in the fitness center. Who are you? Andrew Dagyap. Okay. Uh, off station audio call with Nicholas. Okay. Well, can I hear it? How do I hear it? Hello? Nicholas. I know that you. Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but. Listen. You have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Amazon. Okay. And there's no way we're going to have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just going to have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Wow. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 <laughs> years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Your stories aren't usually such... We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or bone yeah, disease or... Okay? I suppose I am... Uh, listen, would it make you feel potential better potential to hear it straight from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, you hold mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. What is it? I have my son Nicholas on AR and he wanted to ask you. What? No, you said you wanted. Well, I didn't. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> now, Nicholas. Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. <laughs> okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, pause. Let's see what else we can recover. Not that we're supposed to. Uh, off station message with Mark Figueroa. Hey Mark, this is the article I was talking about last time we were discussing finances. Give it a look, sorry to be a downer, love you. The five myths of consumer loyalty. Yeah, what are they talking about here? Uh, myth, real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. Reality, this may have been true in the earliest years of OCEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but something, something, something. Think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio, except mere converted loyalty is just as valuable as original loyalty. Reality, while there are many companies out there, some more repu repu re reputable than others that will offer you that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies. Something something something. Think of loyalty as working on the same compound interest system as a retirement plan or 401k account ask your grandparents. When you draw your loyalty from the original parent company and transfer it, you lose all of those years or decades. It's never worth it. Right, so this means that Andrew, somebody dagged you up, um, put all of his money into a company loyalty fund, which sounds completely wrong, and um, that company loyalty fund is not Amazon, 
and his son's got his heart set on going to Amazon University. Okay. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Right, so let's rewind this part here. I have my son Nicholas on AR and he wanted to Ah, uh, so these symbols are the person. So he's a botan botanist. Uh, that's why he's green, and that's why the symbol's got a little flower. And that's she's green, uh, what? she's medic. No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... And the question mark's gonna come up with a little... Now, Nicholas... There we go. A uh, little medic sign in blue. Okay, uh... Zero Spiel, an Agent Robinson's novel by Edwin Tran. Okay, Zero Spiel, are you sure, says her tiny. Never sure. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Rene Vablus, no more bets, no more chances, just this one. A tiny's probability calculations fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Turn that off, she says under her breath, don't need it. Uh, the developer, no, sorry, the dolly drops on 13. Players' chips are raked by the table's magnets. Robertson pushes away from the roulette table and her magbox boots disengage. The counter sign has been confirmed. She is floating through the orbital casino at a measured pace. The gilded scales of women dresses, women's dresses float away from their bodies in microgravity, shining like precious metal Christmas trees. Earth blows blue through the casino's picture windows. A tiny speaks in AR. I assume that means that you and I you and the platform AI have an agreement in place. Robertson, do it. Robertson, we're one step closer to the biggest score low Earth orbit has ever seen. Okay, so there's there's novels around the AR stuff, which is cool. A uh, message with Natalia, so that's someone on board. Here's his contact info if you want it. By new contact added Chloe Dog. Uh, we did see something from Clooney Dog, didn't we? Message with Odin. Odin, what's my damn gym locker code? It is 0315. Of course, right, sorry for bugging you about it. I don't mind. And... Well, it looks like lots of people, hackers, hippies, AI folks. Yeah, I mean, Tanji is his call. Okay, well, I've got a friend there, and you'd like him. He... And he has a 0G bonsai gun. That sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Clooney Dog. I mean, okay, his name is Hassan, but maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, visit on the way home. I'll think about it. Okay, what's the thingy? 31... What was it? 0315. Let's see if we can find her gym locker then. Locker room, yeah. We're looking for Sarah. Uh, here we go. Uh, 031... Five. Open door. Hello. Goals. Uh, expand. Fitness program. Advance three. Calorific intake. Okay, yeah. Last activity three days ago. Grab wrapper. Whole meal in a bar. That sounds disgusting. Go away. Uh, grab bottle. What we got? Ah, rosemary and sage bath gel, that sounds cool. What's this? Uh, avocado oil shampoo. Okay, so we're still obsessed with avocados, are we? What is the fit what the fittest women in the world need? Uh, Freedom Republic Armed Forces Fitness Challenge 2088. Twenty qualifying women will receive one month of deluxe personalized training at Dallas Fitness in boxing, weightlifting. Army Ranger Special Forces, Jiu Jitsu, Optimized Personal Nutrition and Archery. No previous boot camp experience necessary. Learn from the toughest women in the world. Okay. Um, what were we supposed to learn from that? Other than she likes. Yeah. Grab a tea bag. That's a hairband, not a tea bag. This is a tea bag. Uh, all right. Whoops. Okay. Uh, grab can. 
Ah, so everyone else hasn't locked their door. Okay. Nutrition bar. I'll exercise when I'm dead. Love it. He's locked his door. And he hasn't. Okay. What's through here? Um. Ah, yeah, inboxes. Okay. Um. Fitness center. So we managed to get all of that. So let's rewind to the only bit that we have left, which is the guy in yellow. Where's the guy in yellow? Not there. Down here. Hello. Okay, yep. Uh, hello. Wait, let me through. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I, I trust like you his accent. Back to terra firma safely. It's quite no. a good English accent. You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why? Well, I, I thought that. Oh yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol then? Uh -huh. That's tremendous. Eight months. <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta ta. Ta ta. Uh, I want to review this. Uh, Fail to restore. Uh, from Orbital Worker Union Local 1293, a message from the Orbital Hospita Hospitality and Logistics Union. Remember your rights. Well, it appears they don't have any rights. Um. February 29, 2018 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. Uh, historic Human Oversight Accord, putting a halt to the obsolescence of those brave workers in the face of advancing automation. Uh, it's your legal right to celebrate this momentous event on the last day of February each year, no matter what your employer claims. Report any attempts at workers' suppression to your OHLU local representative. On behalf of all of your fellow union workers, happy obsolescence day. So basically, because you've been made obsolete, you get a day to celebrate that fact on the 29th of February. Or 28th, the last day of February, basically. Um, banter, a guide for the inspired social climber. There is no need for the workplace to be humorless as a morgue, undertakers aside. Make levity part of your workday. Shared references can something, find out what movies and TV programs are tickling funny bones around the office. And that's how fast friends are made. Hmm. To keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher ups, refer to them by amusing and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable bomb bots like fearless leader, skipper or head honcho. There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cant cafeteria. Well, dot dot dot. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, so let's see uh, what they talk about. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan, I am nothing if not... Oh my god, he's called her Mon Capitan, he's like really taken that thing, that briefing to heart. Oh dear. Okay. What else is in here? Uh, well, he's got a nice view from his office. Discreet. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit camped? <laughs> I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on. <laughs> so do you suppose there's good news? That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I'm loving it. Like, the fact that there's like multiple stories going on at the same time, which is totally what would be happening. 
just because there's something happening in this room doesn't mean the other rooms and the other people are not having stuff happen and like the, the ability to be able to replay and um, go and look is just awesome but actually you're encouraged to do that um, right okay so personal quarters office um, ah so this is what was his name where's his bed Uh, uh, Ventura's belt operations team transfer request. I'd be honored to join your team. Uh, contractor Siddiqui, we received your inquiries about your application for position. Ventura's belt timeshare sales coordinator. As noted in our prior message, your materials are under review and will be considered along with other applicants for the position. We'll contact you with any further updates as necessary. Ooh, so he just lied to Evie. Notice yourself. Call mother. Evie's birthday coming up. Gym locker. Okay, 1407. Special cat food. Don't suck on gym search. AR tutorial. Make decorations. So Clive said that he didn't want to leave her. Um, and he was lying. 1407. Okay, let's uh, go check out his locker. The little liar. I love it. Uh, no, it's this way. Um, I think I just spotted his bedroom as well, so... What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. Love it. Okay, locker room. Wow, I think I've already forgotten the number. Is it 1407? We'll find out. Ah, it was. I got distracted by the punch bag. Okay, uh... College Peak Statistics... Come on, Clive. Ah, so he wants to get back to his peak stats, which, you know, fair enough. Okay, let's crouch down. There's a key. Okay. What's this? Coconut lemon? Ooh. Comb. I think we want the key. Okay, let's get out of crouch. Ooh, showers. Hello. Ah! I don't want to. I know I can't see the the, the 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 bits and stuff, but this seems really intrusive. I wonder who it is. It looks like it might be Nat. Uh, so she's listening to music, which is fair enough. Message at Evie St. James. No, that's what the Human Oversight Accord means. It's an orbital facility run by AI. HOA requires there to be an AI specialist on board, and if there's one human aboard, uh, there need to be at least two other people for it to be a three month, for up to a three month pitch. Ah, uh, the coveted NAT support roles. Knew it. And for postings of a year or more, you need six, etc. Sanity, wellness, admin, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs they wouldn't have wise have. What if I told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple fewer people around? You and me both, kid. Ah, so her role is actually critical for Odin. Everyone else is there to support her so she doesn't go insane. Okay, oh yeah, she's very much in love with one Vim. Uh, failed. And that failed. Okay, let's. Is this one Vim's music? I love the fact there's music being pumped everywhere. That is just awesome. Oh dear, singing in the shower. I love it. Right, okay, uh, fitness center. Pretty sure. His room was along here somewhere. That's the locker rooms. That was his office. And here's personal quarters. Okay, he leaves his boots outside.
Um. Ooh. Insert key. Right, okay, let's press space. Recover the data. No, Germ, look, I just... Okay, let's click. Right, so having a call with him. And it's true, here's why I'll be out of touch in eight months or so. Carnival Cruise Liners launches Far Reaches Expedition Tour past Jupiter. Historic first for orbital vacation travel, Carnival Cruise Lines resplendence, long term hab habitation vessel will host 1,333 of Earth's wealthiest and most adventurous travellers for the voyage of a lifetime. Helmed by Chief Cruise Officer Jermaine Aburgis, the resplendence. Ha! Uh, swing tightly past Jupiter, giving lucky passengers an extended view of this spectacular gas giant, its many moons, and its famous great red spot, before continuing on course back toward Earth. The, few duration, the full duration of the excursion is nearly eight full calendar months, during which time. Duh. Okay. Uh, failed. Message with Evie. It sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not at least, my dear. All good Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea and in bullshitting. They have AR tutorials for everything these days. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, all right. I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people. Oh, shit. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. <laughs> Aww. Is he worrying about it not being real with Evie? Getting drunk? Maybe he's just scared. Is that it? I think it might be. Alright, let's have a look in his... Grab bracelet. Darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton market school. They brought to mind the colour of your chestnut eyes. Stupid Clive. Aww. Okay. Uh, Bernadette, Bernadette Siddiq. Oh, Clive Siddiq. Um... Dear Mother, I write to congratulate you on your recent appointment to the Advisory Council of the Tate 20th Century. I must say, um, the handwriting is, is interesting. It really makes, they, they really made the handwriting look real. Uh, your prestigious career in the arts has been a constant inspiration to me. To that end, I have continued exploring advancement both within Venturas and without. When I left Hilton after graduating Hilton U, I was so excited for the possibilities at Carnival. But as you told me then, foregoing company loyalty for, for fickle opportunity is a thwart path. I've been working to claw my way back up ever since. Trust at least that I am trying my best every day. I promise to tell you more about Evelyn Victoria. She is an administrator of the station and her wit and candor keep me constantly on my toes. And for what it's worth, I am deeply in love. I dare say she might well meet your approval. Perhaps on our next shore leave, a visit to the family estate is in order. With all my love, Clive. Ah, okay. Uh, food top? Okay, nope. Don't particularly want a food top. Oh. Ah, yeah, toilet. Okay. What's this about? Whoops. Um, okay. Hmm? Nope. Um, open lid. What's this? Bernadette Siddiqui Esquire, Executive Director. Clive, your great grandmother would never have forgiven me if she knew I was sending this to you like a fool. I expect it returned without a scratch. Write me soon. Mother misses you. Alright. Dunk that there. What is it? Can I see what it is? 
Uh, tea set silver. Oh, it was in. It was in thingies. Um. Uh, in, in Evie's room, wasn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay. Uh, where now? A little bit unsure. Let's, yeah, again, let's exit this area, I think. Uh, data process complete. We, okay. Please detach device. It's weird if we're not allowed to look at the VR stuff, why, why are we given the VR stuff to be able to look at it? Ah, here we go. I was about to wonder what was going on. Uh, Subcontractor Ferrier, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with, with respect to this mission. Uh, still can't access anything else. Okay. Alright, let's head on up. I think that's the way. Yeah, let's see. I love the fact the magnetic boots and the magnetic hand. I would actually quite enjoy an elevator like this. I think. As long as I knew the magnets wouldn't let go. I'd be very worried. I'd be holding on really tightly, to be fair. But it must be quite a nice experience. Okay. And here we go, into zero gravity again. Um, Alright, yeah, that was captured three days ago. Where am I going? Biomedical, that was it. Okay, biomedical, there we go. Initiate trans. Wow, okay. This is another lift, okay. Down we go. Just married. Newlyweds, new perspectives. Coming 2088. Pre-registration open now. I guess this is for um, honeymoon suite type thing. Very nice. Wow, these are long tubes. There's no ladder as well. If it broke down, what are you going to do? Especially because I'm the only person. And I can't even contact my AR. Uh, right. Let's head on in. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. Uh, ah, yep. Yeah. I still really like that. Random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source over a hundred years ago. He is an old guy. Okay, that, that was interesting. This is H, by the way. Hi. Ah, uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom now. Bye. Oh. That's Hilly. Okay, so medical and botany. Uh, let's go medical first. Uh, welcome to medical. Please proceed to the exam room for your appointment. Happy Venturus, Healthy Venturus. Attending physician Sarah Hasmadi, MD. Captured two days ago. So this is going to be towards the end of their life. Um, like, yeah. Okay, now let's play this scene out. Okay, sir. 
Terra. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, wait. Pause. Uh, message with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data formatted for the Zenith AI's use, not... Bert's going to need to be able to use the stuff in real time while she controls... She's at the controls, so... Something, something. Navigation code itself interpret the data and display its recommendation of optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross reference if needed, yes. I understand that I'll prefer, prepare a revision 2.212 of the manual drone and navigation control software and something. Emergency in effect. Cryogenic facilities active. Two out of six cryopods occupied. Oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. Who's gone into cryo status? I'd be interested to know that. Uh, message with Evie. No, it's okay. Don't worry about something. Probably about me. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know that I'm not going to let you down, probably. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to see you on the other side. This user is offline. So maybe Evie's in cryo status then. That's failed. Okay. Anyone else? Here we go. Uh, yep. Yeah. To all crow, Tacoma's remaining something. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops and displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going into cryo. Well, there we go. So Evie and Clive have gone into cryo. That counter should give you a pretty good estimate. Keep an eye on it and something or rubber. Um, restoring. Hey, ladies, your scans look good. You're clear for cryo. If God forbid something into the pods, attaching some same standard instructions are sent along to Evie and Clive. Cryogenic sleeper patient's guide. In the case of emergency, oh my! In the case of a medical emergency, when surgical or other required medical facilities, something, uh, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here is a quick look at. Preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administrated by intravenous injection, most likely. Dosage of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before something. And medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to... I don't know what that word is. Um, okay, yep. Uh, and we station. Oh, hello. Where's your skull? Um, oh. Why, why did the cat not get taken into cryo status? I don't like this. Evie's a bad cat mum. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Okay. Um, the doctor is out. This is the medical office. Right, okay, that's what I wanted, was her little workstation. Uh, this is her. Okay. And bioscan record been updated. Thank you for updating your crew. AR bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for your future reference. Graduation. Okay. Uh, go away, go away. Uh, subject, renew options. Contractor Hasmadi, we'd like to tell, remind you that while your posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there would be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident. 
of September 2nd, 2085, upon the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there will be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunity for Venturas would be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal, thanks. Yeah, I would do. I'd sort of taken responsibility for something. Although... Oh. Nice relaxation sounds. Lovely. Uh, okay. Yep. Let's head on out. And we've done hers. Let's, um... Let's uh, finish the scene. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... Ah! There's a botanist about. There he is! Uh, dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but something accident on the station, and if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up. To be the amazing man I already know you're becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, but don't forget me. I know that I loved you more than I'm s more than I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish later. Stop dictation. I love it. It's a gay marriage and child as well. Fantastic. Um, the drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system or no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry. Thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Yeah, well done, Andrew. Uh, dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive, Clive and I, uh, not why I wish I weren't signing this words, okay? It is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We are the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pull again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. We couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Amy St. James and Clive Siddiqui. Okay. Andrew, information requested, answers you frequently answer questions. Uh, while Ventura strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case that a contractor dies, transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Venturis. Loyalty and any additional Venturis accident insurance that the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to approve something something contractor. Stay safe up there, and it is everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe. Uh, so far, I have not found an employee. Okay, right, so let's continue listening to these guys. But what? Right before they turn to go, just for a second, they look so worried. Well, oh, yeah. Baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other the last time they'll ever see each other. Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. What's this about? Ah, right, okay, here we go. Let's rewind a bit. I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. Yep. Maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. 
There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't gonna help us. Mm -hmm. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together too, Oh. Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> oh. Bless them. Right, so there's a key there. Right. I love that. Your love story. Uh, did we get everything? Let's just. Follow the botani botany guy through the scene. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's going to happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Matt are going to fix up the drone with life support and and then we're no. I mean what if things don't work out and we're still stuck in cryo oh well when you go into stabilizing sleep it feels just like any other sleep really the body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma do you dream sometimes sometimes very intense dreams and then what after a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, but don't wake back up. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Burton... Sad faces. I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay. Ooh, key. Right, I know I'm very close to needing to end the episode, but let's go use this key. I'm pretty sure it's with the lovers in medical storage. Stay cuddling, guys. There we go. What's in here? Oh, it's going. A skull. Okay. Well, when in doubt, put, always put the skull back on the body. Is it exam facilities? No. Nope. Imaging? No. Nope. This one. There we go. Am I not allowed to change the thing by using the word gradu graduation? The weird noise. There we go. February twenty. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I still don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than it used to be, but it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them. Oh. Gum, nail polish, some bottle. Uh, and, sorry, I'm twisting my neck. How do I. Ah, there we go. Anti anxiety support. Okay. Uh, that was a good aim. Um, 
I thought we could change the password. Uh, personal quarters. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm really addicted to actually this game. As you can tell, I said I was going to end it a moment ago, and here I am wanting to go into another scene. Tell you what. We're going to do. We're going to do her personal quarters in the next episode. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know any comments down below. What you think of the game. Uh, have I missed something crucial, etc. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.